Patrick. Together, we are JP Adventures 19. Let's move this steel. Looks good. It is getting serious. Ah! Are you excited, Patrick? Very excited. Are you nervous? Just a bit. What if you do a mistake? I won't. You'll get in trouble. <laughs> oh boy. So everything's set up. What kind of stuff is? And we have really nice farmers. So we got a bit of shed space over the long weekend so we put everything in place and we'll do our first cut soon it's a bit exciting <laughs> we can't mess it up patrick nope. we measured twice so we should be fine let's go <laughs> first cut Yeda is making her first cut. Uh-oh. And now Yella is dumping out all the dust into the bin because these are the two mil uh, tubes, so they're not as heavy. Right, Yella? Yeah, now we have to check if it's the same length as the other one. So we just put them up next to each other. And if they're the same length, then we're good. How does it look? How does your side look? Pretty good. Yeah, we nailed it. <laughs> All right, so we always grind the edges of our cuts just to get the nasty stuff off the cut. From when the saw cuts through it, there's like a big sharp edge here that you just grind it off. And also when you're welding, you wanna have like a, almost a 45 degree angle here. So especially when you butt another part up to here, you have another 45 degree angle. And you actually fill up the whole seam, which means most of this whole thing will be melted. So now that that's done, I'm just going to grab a file and file out the inside. So this bit here, this nasty stuff is the first stuff that will rust. Right. 
it's dark outside Woo. but not dark in the workshop so um patrick's currently doing um some test welding with these off cuts because he used to do it a lot but it's been a while and we want to make sure it looks nice and and you want to get the settings right yeah or else you'll just burn a hole through it yeah and that's not what we want this is the welder we're using so push us luck <laughs> New day, new luck. Um, we figured out that the angle of the, the drop saw is not correct, 100%. So the angles we cut, they were not 45 degrees. They were more like 40 degrees. <laughs> and now we have to make them like sharper. So we'll do that now in the morning and hopefully start welding later. So Patrick um, put the settings right and let's go. So now we're just playing around, trying to find the right angle. As you can see, like 45 would be here, but it's not 45. So we're just playing around with it and then we measure it again. And when it's correct, we'll go through the edges again. We do that with off cuts. <laughs> so we don't waste any metal we still need. All right, we went through all the edges again and prepared them for welding again. And we'll start with this one, it's the top. Patrick's getting the corners ready. We have this little angle thing, which is really handy because it's a strong magnet. So it holds the two steel bars together. So we've got the welder here. Let's go. This is the first one. So we're spot welding it now and then we'll measure again and check if everything's right and then we'll do the proper weld. That's the plan. <laughs> This is the frame for our roof and um, we're welding in some support bars, these ones. So we just marked where we want to weld them in on both sides and now we can get started again. More welding! <laughs> Yesterday we finished the roof, which is this part, and today we'll start with the bottom, which is this bit. The base. The base. We already welded the angles for the back. So we measured.
inserted the holes in the tray and we want to use them for the supports they go in the middle here at the bottom so now we're just measuring and drilling holes and hope they all fit <laughs> we've done one so far that will be the second one and then two more two more yay and then it's gonna be dark <laughs> did we prepared the edges for welding and now we're gonna weld them in measure first yeah we have to measure first and hopefully everything fits <laughs> bottom we want to finish the box the whole box <laughs> that, so was the, that was the plan <laughs> our last free day um we'll have to pick apples again tomorrow morning so these are the steel sheets we need to cut one to the right size we'll add some angles to give it more stability as well and then weld it on so the support bars are almost in I'm just doing the last two now and then we'll start cutting the sheet <laughs> that will be fun so he's spot welding it first so it's in the right place and right height and everything and then he'll weld it on correctly and properly <laughs> So we are cutting our sheet to size. This is for the last piece in the back. Um, the the bottom. Full, full sheet won't fit anymore. So we have to cut it lengthwise. And yeah, there's no metal table saw here. So we're gonna make our own. <laughs> <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs>
So for the first cut, hey, which was the, um, the thickest sheet, we used more than one grinding disc already. <laughs> Cutting this, yeah, sorry. We went through a few <laughs> cutting discs, so now we got the big one out. <laughs> How excited, Patrick? Uh just laid the sheets out and they fit <laughs> yay <laughs> and now we start welding them on and then our base is pretty much done that's a sexy suit patrick was Thanks. it was it what is it for my costume for any costumes uh, costume parties we go to. <laughs> yeah he has a really bad sunburn on his arm <laughs> from welding so now he needs to cover it while patrick's welding back there i'll start to grind down the weld of the ceiling of the roof and we have a new camera boy Woohoo! <laughs> directly from italy Doesn't turn on. <laughs> Maybe the battery on oh, no. it. While Patrick's welding back there, I'll start to grind down the well of the ceiling. And we have a new camera boy! Woohoo! <laughs> Directly from Italy! <laughs> <laughs> grind down the well so they're nice and flat and then we spray some zinc spray on top so they don't rust and then we're ready to keep building the box <laughs> look at this everything's coming together most of it is welded on today we're completely dead but not done yet so this is only spot welded so far that's the roof 
and this is the bottom and since we have to flip it over tomorrow um, we'll paint it today so we can let it dry overnight and tomorrow during the day while we have to pick apples again and then this is done and we are done already <laughs> So today I am taking a break and Yele is painting for a change. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll be welding. Yele is painting the, the, the base. So this that is the bottom part of the base, which we'll be pretty much flipping upside down. So we have to get this painted before we flip it upside down and let the paint dry. So it's pretty much protected. And at the same time, um, we can start building on top of it. Yeah, so there we go. Yeah, it's doing good work.